Welcome back to the Open Lathe Tutorials, everybody. Today we're going to be doing the enclosure and the mounting bracket for the enclosure. Uh, so I'll have plans uh, provided in the uh, description for all of the hole dimensions. Um, I'm kind of just doing this quick and dirty, uh, measuring my center and just kind of measuring off my center there. But uh, you can take all your measurements from one end as it shows in the uh, in the plans. This is a piece of one and a quarter inch by eighth inch uh, angle iron, cut down to 12 inches. Pretty uh, pretty easy to find locally, but you can order it off of uh, online metals if you're uh, if you're putting in a big order with them, getting the rest of your stuff from them, and don't know where to find it or if it's not available locally. Uh, I mean, locally, uh, you know, even Home Depot has this this uh, this little bit of metal, so uh, pretty easy to find. I'm going to speed through this section here. Uh, you guys have seen me mark out a billion holes by now. Uh, make your marks, do a little center punch, and get ready to drill. I drill my pilot holes with an eighth inch drill bit, and again, I'm going to speed through this one. I drill the first two. Uh, close center holes with a 3 8 inch drill bit. The outside holes are made with a 5 16 inch drill bit. As always, I like to countersink my holes. Uh, looks nice, deeper is good. Um, it's an option, but I suggest you do it. So, this is the panel you should have ordered from Automation Direct. Uh, it comes with a back plate. Uh, the back plate I spec'd out is a perforated plate. Uh, it's real handy uh, for mounting things too. So we've got to pop a hole in the back of this enclosure and uh, it has to go through the perforated plate. So I like to screw it down and just make one hole. Uh, it goes all the way through. It's lined up real nice. The panel should come with four screws. Just screw that uh, the panel in to the enclosure. Once you've got the panel in, go ahead and flip the enclosure over and lay out the hole in the back according to the plans I provided uh, in the description down below. Drill a pilot hole with an 8th inch drill bit and the final hole is going to be a 7 16 inch drill bit. Make sure you drill all the way through the enclosure and the panel in the back. After you're done, flip it over, open the panel, and uh, take the back plate out. Next we're going to install the grommets, uh, one for the back plate and one for the enclosure. I got these from the local hardware store, and uh, honestly I'm having trouble finding these online in anything less than a 50 pack. So the uh, the hardware store, Home Depot, and Ace Hardware, something local might be your best bet. I'll put the specs down in the link. Um, you may want to deburr this hole. Uh, you can see me struggling here with a little bit with this thing. Um, it, it helps with the installation of the grommet. Um, I got this one in just fine, but it may be uh, maybe something you'd like to do. And there we go. Now a little safety note here. Um, a lot of these things are, are going to be sharp. Um, you know, I'm kind of wiping my hand over it. I've built a lot of panels. I'm kind of know the dangers of, of the sharp sharp stuff on these things. My hands are kind of thick, etc. Um, you can really cut yourself bad. So you know, use a brush or put some gloves on or something like that. Uh, I just I don't recommend uh, doing it with just your bare hands like that, like I did. And there we go. Go ahead and lay out your holes on the right side of the enclosure according to the plans provided in the link in the description below. Again, I'm using an 8th inch drill bit to make pilot holes in the enclosure. I recommend using a step drill bit to make holes in the enclosure for the indicator light and the on-off switch. The last hole in the enclosure is for the speed controller. 
I end up sizing it here a little bit, taking my time, but the hole is a 5 16 inch hole. The threads are pretty short on this speed controller, and as you can see I'm fitting it here, I'm not quite getting it all the way through. That's because there's some burrs on the back of this hole. Running your drill bit on the back side of the enclosure, real quick, should take care of those burrs, and your speed control should fit in there real nice. Repeat these steps for the left side of the panel, according to the plans.